Yo guys, welcome to Ashton Fitness. Today I'm going to show you how to handstand on parallettes. Performing the handstand on parallettes is significantly harder than performing it on the floor. So this tutorial will show you four of the best tips you can use to improve your balance and strength so that you can master the handstand on parallettes as quickly as possible. Keep watching until the end of the video because I'll also be showing you some of the best progressions you can use to train for the handstand on parallettes. If you enjoyed the video, then remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any videos like this in the future. And if you really enjoy it, then make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever your favorite social media platform is so that they can enjoy and benefit from it too. Before you begin to learn the handstand on parallettes, you should first be able to hold a freestanding handstand on the ground for at least 10 seconds. If you can't hold a freestanding handstand yet, then I highly recommend you watch my how to handstand tutorial. I've left a link to the tutorial in the description of this video so that you can easily go and check it out. If you can handstand for at least 10 seconds, then you have the necessary strength and balance to start training the handstand on parallettes. The key to holding the handstand on parallettes is to understand the difference between holding the handstand on parallettes and holding the handstand on the ground. The reason why it's easier to hold the handstand on the ground is because you're able to spread your fingers out while you hold it. This gives you a wider base to balance on and allows you to adjust your balance in two planes of movement front to back and left to right. Holding the handstand on parallettes is harder because you have a smaller base to balance on and only one plane of movement to adjust your balance in, front to back. This means that you need to have better balance to hold the handstand on parallettes, which is why it's vital that you have a strong handstand on the ground first before you attempt the handstand on parallettes. Understanding the difference between holding the handstand on the ground and on parallettes is beneficial because it helps you to understand how to fine tune your balance while you hold the handstand position. With this in mind, my first tip to mastering the handstand on parallettes is to fine tune your balance by moving your hands forwards and backwards. To fine tune your balance on parallettes, move your hands forwards and backwards as you balance to keep yourself locked in place. If you start to lean forward, you can grip the bar tightly and push your hands forward to stop yourself falling forward, and if you start to lean backwards, then you can roll back onto the fleshy parts of your palms to stop yourself falling back down to the ground. I've exaggerated the movement of my hands in this example so that it shows better on camera, but in a real situation the movement is much more subtle. Making micro adjustments to your balance in this way will allow you to hold the handstand easier and it will ensure that you hold the handstand for longer. The second tip for learning the handstand on parallettes is to grip the bar tightly. This is a very quick tip, but the harder you grip the bar while you hold the handstand, the easier you'll find it to fine tune your balance. The third tip to mastering the handstand on parallettes is to kick up into the handstand. There are two ways to get into the handstand position on parallettes. You can either hop into it or kick up into it from a sprint stance position. Kicking up into the handstand position is easier because it takes a lot less strength, control and balance to do than hopping into it. Therefore, if you're learning this movement for the first time, then I recommend that you kick up into it because it will make it much, much easier for you. The fourth tip to learning the handstand on parallettes is to practice handstand kickups. If you've never held a handstand on a pair of parallettes, then chances are it will feel strange and alien when you first try it. A great way to get used to the feeling of holding a handstand on parallettes is to practice handstand kickups. To perform handstand kickups, kick up into the handstand position and attempt to hold it for a second at the top. Lower yourself down with control, return to the starting position and repeat the handstand kickup again. When I'm training for the handstand, I like to do three sets of 10 handstand kickups to really ingrain the movement and balance into my muscle memory. So I'd recommend doing three sets of 10 reps for the best results. Bonus tip! If you're afraid of falling when you try the handstand on parallettes, then I highly recommend that you have a plan of action to follow if you do lose balance. In this example, I decided before attempting the movement that if I were to fall, I would place my right hand in front of my parallettes to prevent me falling over. Preparing in advance can help you to avoid injury as it gives you a plan of action to follow if you do lose balance. It can also help to give you the confidence to properly commit to the handstand if you're afraid of falling because you have a plan prepared about how to control your descent if you do lose balance. Learning to handstand on parallettes takes some patience, but here are some progressions that will help you to learn it quickly and effectively. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. 
Also, comment and let me know what videos you'd like to see because I'd love to hear from you and find out what kind of tutorials and workout videos you'd like to see to help you progress with your calisthenics training. This has been Ashton with Ashton Fitness. Now go do that handstand on your parallettes.